In his show of support for the government's initiative to increase the recruitment of indigenous people into the security forces, Chairman of the National Tushaus Council, NTC, Derek John, leader of Morai Kubai Village, praised the plan as a significant opportunity for hinterland communities across Guyana. Here are the details from Luan McAllister. Last month, Minister of Home Affairs Robinson Ben announced that the government is seeking to recruit three to 500 new members annually from Amerindian villages into the army and police forces. In an interview with the Evening News, head of the National Tushau Council, Derek John, emphasized that the plan addresses a long-standing issue where indigenous people, despite their willingness, were often left out of opportunities due to geographical challenges. John underscored the importance of this initiative in boosting security in border areas, particularly given the ongoing situation with Venezuela. Moreover, he noted that the presence of local security personnel who know and understand the area and terrains would be an advantage. One of the things that more and more we, we see and the need for security, especially in the border, um, border areas, I think that will be a boost for um, security wise because um, you know there's this border tension with Venezuela and a lot of times we have received complaints from communities you know they feel so insecure um, so it will boost the security but also it will create employment I think that having these persons from your community going back and forth within it, 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 it is a good initiative um, one of the things that we had problems with in the Past, where we had coastlanders who um, were stationed in some of these um, areas, but they had created some problems, okay. domestic problems. So, but having your own people coming back there, I think it's a great move. President Dr. Irvin Ali recently revealed that from 2020 to now, the Amerindian intake in the joint services increased by 43%. Lawanda McAllister for the Evening News.